The Mortal Kombat 1 story has a plethora of moments that are full of emotion, action, and great storytelling. And though it's a great story told all around, has some really cool moments as well, there are some moments that are a bit uh, uh, cringier than others that made me go, oh, why did that happen? So today we're going over the top five most cringy moments from the Mortal Kombat 1 story and why they were just so, ugh. Even though it was scripted, yes, I do think that this first fight with the Lin Kuei, Sub-Zero, scorpion and smoke it is really cool i don't know why but this moment right here is just kind of cringy to me he just shoots out an ice ball like pay attention to me look at me i'm sub-zero i'm up here scorpion walks in trying to be threatening twirling the spear i guess okay one more ice ball still misses and again i know it's all for show i understand that i don't know it just, it just felt kind of like look at this look like pointing at them but look at me i'm sub-zero i'm the master of the lin Kuei. i don't know it was just, just pretty cringy in my opinion this next one's gonna be kind of a quick moment because they're very a few of them but any scene with Natara in it and whenever she speaks I know she gets a lot of hate but honestly I think it's really just like I get it like some of the voice acting is subpar at best yes even moments with Havoc I'm like ah dude you're kind of being a little whiny but whatever when Natara speaks like this I'm just like oh it just does not sound right it doesn't sound good like literally her speaking is cringy within of itself so yeah basically just any scene with Natara I'm not gonna lie next we have this moment right here when General Shao introduces his next opponent for Raiden, which is gonna be Reiko. He's like my second in command. I'm gonna bring in Reiko. And then Reiko just walks in like, I know he's already cocky, but look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass, dude. Look at me. I'm General Shao, second in command. No one can stop me. And then he walks up to Raiden and I guess like tries to show off his martial arts skills in a way. Okay, let me just turn. Let me get ready to punch, punch, side, elbow, kick. This is gonna happen to you. Look at me. And Raiden's like, dude, are you all right? Like, I will kill you. Like that whole moment moment oh my gosh i don't think that was needed it was so cringy dude and he's like look at me i'm gonna fight you next this whole sequence man the whole time even when i first watched it, i was like i don't know that doesn't really feel doesn't really feel threatening to me like reiko is trying to come off threatening but he's kind of coming off like a 13 year old boy who just got his first white belt and i just was like oh my gosh next year we have the scene where melina decides to take charge and kind of uh uh, seduce or, or trick Shang Tsung and Quan Chi into believing that she's on their side now. She's like, don't worry, I can handle this. And Liu Kang, the god of the universe, who says, yeah, go for it. She's like, Shang Tsung. He's like, oh my God, who is this? And she's like, I am on your side now. I took them all out for you. Do not worry. I bring the news from Outworld. It, look at this, she's just walking. I'm just like, oh girl, you're not coming off real or truthful at all. And they know it. And they're just standing there like, yeah, we don't believe you. Of course we don't. The whole walk like all cockiness i don't know man it was it was all just kind of cringy at the same time they're questioning her she's playing it off or she thinks she is and i just it's just not going well it, it, this whole thing was just like oh come on there was there was no other better character to do this with like okay i guess and this whole charade is played off in like five seconds which made it even worse i think there's no actual shot to make them believe her no other distraction they came up with nothing like they just i don't know this whole thing was just uh, it was very cringy for sure okay i don't know if you would call Call this moment i guess cringy but the moment where the combat kids show up to kita kun jin jackie and cassie and then they just get absolutely murked destroyed by katana in like five seconds i was like uh really like the katana with fans versus those with like bows and arrows guns and more just they just lose in like, look, look at this, like 10 seconds, they just get wrecked. I, I felt kind of bad because I know a lot of people, including myself, love the combat kids and they showed up and we're like, oh cool, here they are. And then they just get wrecked. I more or less just feel bad for them, but I don't know, I think they just did them dirty and I think that's what made it cringy. That might just be my take, I get it, but uh, but still. Let me know down below, guys, what moments do you think from the Mortal Kombat 1 story are cringe worthy? What moments made you go, oh, that's just not right? Or that's just weird? I wanna hear your thoughts down. Down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides, tutorials, and more.